Welcome back, everyone. Well, here at KTSM, we have a very bittersweet announcement to share with everyone. After six incredible years, today is our sports director, Colin Deaver's last day with KTSM. Let's go ahead and take a look back at his journey here. You know, we got this gym all to ourselves as UTEP got that victory. Andy, we're going to take full advantage of it. Live at the Don Haskins Center, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports. The biggest compliment you can give a journalist of any kind is telling them they've made a difference. He was always manning uh, this dugout area at Southwest University Park. They've made an impact in their community. So this is what I love about the El Paso community. They show up in times of need and raise the level of expectations of those around them. They will be reevaluating their processes to make sure something like this never happens again. Since arriving in El Paso in 2018, you know the strategy is don't bounce the baseball. Colin Deaver has done exactly that. The KTSM 9 Sports original was the night before Christmas in the borderland. All the big moments. Where are you going to be spending your college career? <laughs> I'll be going to the University of Arizona. Games. People in North Dakota, Grandma Sue in Iowa, knows Teddy Allen's name tonight because he dropped 37 points on the Yukon Huskies to send the Aggies into the second round. Breaking news. Breaking news off the top of the show. El Paso native, Texas first baseman slugger, the Hispanic Titanic. Ivan Melendez has been named the Golden Spikes Award winner. And shenanigans you've come to love from calling on the desk. We're on Jason Hooden watch. You're on the lookout. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. We're, on, we're on Jason Hooden watch. <laughs> He's been there for it all. You know what happens when you win the Tony the Tiger symbol. You get the flakes. Marcus Freeman got the Gatorade bath. We're going to do some Frosted Flakes Angels. This has been KTSM 9 Sports at 6 live from the Sun Bowl. We'll see you at 10. And anyone you talk to around the Borderland sports scene will tell you exactly that. Your time at KTSM has been marked by your professionalism, your kindness, and your dedication. As you move on, know that your legacy has been made here in El Paso and beyond, and you will be missed. Thank you, brother, for everything you did for Borderland Sports. Personally, thank you everything you did for myself, Chapin Boys Basketball. You was with us every step of the way. And you can't tell you how much you've meant to our community and how much you meant to me personally as a friend. The thing that I uh, respect the most about you, man, is your work ethic uh, and how fair you are. You know, there's a lot of people in our business who just chase a story. Uh, you don't necessarily do that, man. Uh, you, you report fair. Uh, you get on our butt when we need to. I really want to thank you for everything you've done for me my family throughout the years and of course the uh, whole city of El Paso. I just want to wish you good luck on your journey. Um, I appreciate all the work you've done for me, um, you know, helping me get exposure. I've always said, uh, Colin, that if you spend any amount of time in one place, you certainly want to leave your mark. You certainly want to leave uh, some kind of a legacy and you've certainly done that, uh, not only as a sports reporter and a sports anchor, but uh, I think most importantly is as a great human being. I really enjoyed working with you and looking forward to following your successes. Take care. Covering everybody, covering all the sports, and you know, giving kids from El Paso a chance to be seen and been put out there. Thank you. This has looked pretty wild. All right. All right. I think we're going to go upside down at some point, maybe. <laughs> Thank you for always putting our local teams and athletes first. Nobody has done it better. Um, thank you to Andy and everybody who's part of that. Um, here we go. Uh, there is not a day that goes by where I do not think about August 3rd, 2019. 23 people were senselessly murdered that day at the Sierra Vista Walmart. Now, the city's reaction to that cemented everything to me about what this region is. On the worst day imaginable, the people were at their best, and I will never, ever forget that. It's that sense of community that makes this city so special. It's rare, it does not exist everywhere, and I've lived everywhere, and it's why I love this community so much. It's why tonight is so difficult for me at my last night at KTSM after six years. So since May of 2018, I've covered Borderland athletes and coaches of all kinds who've dreamed of the same thing, a chance to prove what they could do at the highest level if they got that opportunity. Many of them did exactly that, and now, folks, it's time for me to shoot my own shot. So many of the best things in my life have happened exactly because I have this job. It has been the greatest honor of my life, and there are so many memories and moments that I cherish because of it. I got to meet Willie Cager and Jim Forbes. I call them friends. May they both rest in peace. I watched athletes grow up and saw their wildest dreams come true. I saw kids handle situations far beyond their years with grace that I do not possess. I saw state championships, March Madness upsets. I led coverage of stories that made national news, and most recently, I drove 2,600 miles round trip to cover one 
college basketball game in Huntsville, Alabama. I am incredibly proud of the work we did over the last six years. I demand the best for myself and anyone I work with because the people in this community work harder every single day than anywhere else in the world, and they deserve a team of journalists that do the exact same. There are too many people to thank for the last six fantastic years here. And I have to start, thank you to my, the love of my life, my Emmy Award-winning girlfriend, Emmy De Emily DeSantos, who is and always will be the most talented person in the house. We met at an Eastlake football press conference almost five years ago. She is a saint for being way too understanding of my crazy schedule, more supportive than I deserve in every way. And thank you, of course, to my family, my mom, my dad, my brothers and sister, nieces and nephews, and so, so many friends around the world for supporting me from far away, helping me to achieve anything I've ever accomplished and being there for me through it all. And I got a shout out, Andy Morgan, thank you to the OG sports director for bringing me here teaching me so much, letting me be myself and letting me run with pretty much any idea. Thank you to the nine overtime crew and Sam Guzman, who has been the best partner in crime I could have asked for the last two years, and he's going to kill it in about a week here. Thank you to Ed Stansbury, Jason Flores, Andrew Litton, and their entire families for being the reason I chose to stay here back in the early days when everything was awful and I wanted to pack up and move home. They did not know that they made that impact, I don't think until just now, but I literally would have moved years ago if not for them, and my life would be worse because of it. So the star in the Franklin Mountains, you can't see it, you will in a second, it's tattooed on my arm because El Paso will always be a part of me. Thank you for bringing me in and giving me a home. Thank you for allowing me to mean just a little something to a place that has meant the world to me. So that's all I got, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, Colleen, I'm tearing up. You know, I think that's what I'm gonna miss the most about you, and that is how well you put your words together. You are so talented in so many ways, and uh, we're gonna miss you so much. You truly are going to be um, the present that's gonna be felt here in the newsroom when you're gone.